Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing really well and welcome back to my YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I actually have a little special guest from the sofa today. This is Gracie, my little dog. I don't know if you've ever met Gracie um, properly in like my sit down videos, but she was always in my old vlogs when I lived at home. Um, as I said the other day, my mum is actually staying with us, so I have my little dog with me. She's actually 14 this September, which is so weird because she literally looks like a puppy. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. I am going to be filming a new in haul. I've got so many things that I've been collecting over the last month to share with you, and I'm very excited. I've kind of spent the best part of six months writing wish lists and really being strict with what I buy and saving my money and going through my wardrobe kind of every month and just seeing what I actually need rather than going shopping and buying stuff all the time. I actually haven't been shopping for so long until yesterday. So I did pick up a few things, but as you'll see, they are such classics really timeless i'm gonna wear them through all seasons and yeah i'm really excited i also have a couple of pr pieces in here to share with you as well for my upcoming holiday i'm going to cyprus at the end of august so i think we've got three weeks now which is really weird i can't believe we're in august sorry if she keeps moving around she gets so uncomfortable okay i think she's fine now yeah, I've got some clothing, some accessories. I've got a few home bits as well. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna start off with clothing because I've got quite a few bits. So I went into the H&M showroom yesterday and I basically went in to discover the new Move collection, which is in collaboration with Jane Fonda, which on its own is just so cool because my mum grew up doing Jane Fonda workouts and having them on her like VHS videotape in her bedroom. She's told me so much about it. So I was very, very excited to tell her that it was a collection with Jane Fonda. So I picked out a couple of bits for my Pilates at home. First thing I got was this little sports bra. It did have matching leggings, but they didn't have my size. So I just got the sports bra for now. And I was really in need of a new sports bra because the ones that I have have lost their shape so much. Um, when I wash them, sometimes they shrink. I think I'm just really bad at washing. Um, so they're like a little bit too tight. So I just wanted a new one. And I just love this pattern. It's like a brown, kind of like a retro-y material. Kind of like a bit of a retro-y pattern going on here, like some squiggles. I just love brown at the minute. And this shape, I find, is so flattering. Just square and then a little strap. Super comfy. Adjustable straps as well, which is fabulous. Um, I got this in a size small and this is $12.99. I don't know if this is online yet because this is a sample, but um, I will have a look and link it below. I'm, I think this is because I think I've seen it, but I'm very excited to wear this just with like black leggings or shorts or something. Perfect. A good little handy staple. Then I tried on a couple of their all-in-one jumpsuits and I have wanted like an all-in-one exercise jumpsuit for ages, but... I, I just never find one that I really love and I like something to be a little bit different a little bit more interesting not just like a just straight up and down um jumpsuit so I tried this one on this was actually on the mannequin and the girl in H&M who's so lovely the whole H&M team is so lovely she I tried on a different one and it, they didn't have my size and she said this one in the on the mannequin is in your size. Should I get it off and you can try it on? And I was like, oh my God, please, because it looked so nice. So it's all in one. This is in a size small and it's got a thick strap this side and then a double thin strap this side. That alone, I love. I think they've got a crop top, like a sports bra crop top like this. And I think that would be gorgeous. Then it's got this waist cutout section and then it goes down into the trousers and the trousers are actually flared. So it's just giving me the full Jane Fonda vibes. My mum actually used to have a pair of yoga trousers that were um, black and flared and I used to steal them all the time because I loved them. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I absolutely love this. It was so flattering when I tried it on and I just absolutely loved it. I don't think this is online because I can't find it. They have got the other one that I tried on that I was gonna get, but they didn't have it in my size. Um, and that's also so gorgeous. It's really backless, it's lovely. So I will link that below, but 
I don't think this is online yet, so keep your eyes peeled and I will post it on my stories when it is online. Okay, I have a couple of other pieces to show you from yesterday. I went into Reese to have a little browse and I was actually looking for some shirts for Jack, um, like some summer linen-y kind of shirts. And I don't know if you guys have been shopping recently, but there is honestly no summer pieces in store. I think it's a really awkward time to shop for summer when it's kind of like August because they're like in between. They're starting to bring out autumn things. The sale is all the summer and you just, I will literally never shop in sale because I absolutely hate it. I don't mind doing it online. If I can get a bargain, trust me, I'll be there. I love a bargain. But shopping in store, going through the sale racks, trying to find your size, being disheartened when you can't find it, I just can't be bothered. So I was quite disappointed. They didn't have any men's shirts. I don't know if I need to go to a different store, but yeah, a little bit disappointing. But I did get my hands on these trousers that I have been wanting for so long. You might remember I bought some trousers exactly like this from Reese a good few months ago. And I literally have worn them so, so much. I feel like I should probably buy another pair because I don't want the white to go funny. But I really wanted to get my hands on the black for autumn. They are honestly the most perfect suit trousers I have ever tried. They've got a waistband, which is a drawstring, so you can tie this as tight as you want. Super comfortable. These would be an amazing workwear staple in any industry, but I just love a smart trouser. Pairing these with trainers, slides, heels, anything. They're just so versatile. I wear these in a size six and they fit me perfectly. They're such a crease-free fabric as well. So again, really good for workwear. They're such a good length for me as well. I'm 5'3" and I could do with probably having like a centimeter rolled up but I'm not that fussy if I was I could roll them up or take them up or whatever but I'm actually not that fussy it's fine um but yeah I just absolutely love these you probably know I wear the cream ones all the time so I'm so happy I managed to get my hands on the black because these were actually sold out I couldn't find them anywhere in any store for ages so very pleased. These are £98 and that might sound expensive for a pair of trousers but when you invest a little bit more money in a staple item like these I think your money goes further. You look after them a lot better, the quality is better and they're su just such a much more timeless piece to have because you can wear these with any outfit. Okay and then I popped into Selfridges. Me and my mum had a good look around Selfridges. Oh my god they had so many gorgeous things. But I had been after a top like this for ages and I really wanted a strapless black, really stretchy tight top. And literally this is what I imagined. I wanted it to have this exact shape at the top because I love that, I think it's really flattering. Almost like a corset, but without the detailing and the zip and all of that stuff. I just wanted simple streamline, almost like a swimsuit, but without the straps. And I've literally found it. I couldn't be happier. This is from Pixie Market, which is a brand that I already love and I do know a little bit about already. I've got a couple of things from there and everything is so well made. I've had this one jumper for I think four years and I bring it out every single autumn and I love it. So I'm so happy to have this. It's really long line, so it's not cropped or anything. It goes kind of all the way down to your jeans, which is nice really lovely sweetheart neckline super stretchy and really thick ribbed knit which is so nice it feels really luxe actually this was 70 pounds i believe yes this was 70 pounds um which again may think is a bit ex expensive for a simple top but i just really want to start investing more into my basics because i wear them so much for me i just feel like it's worth investing more money into things like this moving on to dresses you probably know by now i am just obsessed with dresses i just absolutely love them and if i could just have an entire wardrobe dedicated to my dresses i would love it just wait until we move house i am gonna have that dream dressing room and i will have a bespoke area for all my dresses and i cannot wait but this one you've probably seen quite a bit i've worn this a lot recently it's from shona joy these are all pieces that i have been sent by these brands so huge thank you to all these Oh, all of these brands. I actually picked this for Cyprus, but I've already worn it loads because I love it. It's this beautiful mini dress, super floaty, double lined. It's got a lovely v-neck 
and it actually has a little ruched waist with a drawstring so you can tie it in at the waist which is really nice so it kind of does pull in a little bit really lovely balloon sleeves nice little hem detail here at the end of the sleeve oh i just love it it's so pretty i've, I've literally worn it loads recently even my mum borrowed this and she looked so nice in it really nice pattern as well i'm not usually one for colors or patterns but this is just really subtle very neutral still i think because it's got that really lovely camel shade running through it it's a lot more me and yeah i just think it's beautiful it looks so lovely with dark hair it also looks lovely with blonde hair because my mum looked amazing in this style it up style it down i just think it's such a lovely dress my next shona joy dress this i am saving for my holiday because it just screams holiday we are staying in a villa in cyprus but there is a hotel called the anasa which if you haven't been to cyprus before and you are going i cannot recommend the anasa enough jack's parents stay there a lot and um we go there all the time for like drinks i think me and jack are going to try and go on a little date night away from the group for dinner so i think i might wear this there it's stunning it's so pretty so this dress is just perfect for that high neck really lovely back detail it's completely backless it's got this big scoop back little slip underneath so it's got this kind of double strap with the ruffle and then the thin little slip underneath and it just is a full maxi dress it's so pretty i haven't actually even tried this on yet um i love this color it's coming up a lot lighter on camera but it's more of a dark rust super floaty there's frills all along the skirt chiffony oh i just love it it doesn't have a slit in the bottom which is one thing i do love on a dress because i'm quite small sometimes long maxi dresses can drown me if they don't have a little slit so i would have loved this even more if it had a slit but it's so pretty for cyprus i cannot wait to wear this with a tan some lovely heels some gold jewelry oh, so pretty okay and then i have actually shared these pieces with you in a vlog recently i think but lux style boutique is a beautiful instagram boutique um i just i love their pieces so much they're so perfect for summer so i picked out a couple of bits for the rest of the summer first of all i've got this two piece a beautiful little white broidery on glaze detailed top this is a crop top and then it's completely backless with this lovely big ribbon so you can tie it in a bow at the back so pretty i've worn this a couple of times already and i had a lot of compliments when i wore it so pretty you could also wear this with tailored trousers or jeans to um kind of like make it a little more casual if you wanted to and then to go with the top i also have the matching shorts which are exactly the same white with the little broidery anglaise details on super pretty it really kind of gives me marge or zimmerman vibes with the lovely detailing and the bows and the frills just super feminine and pretty and then my next piece from Lux style is this dress again broidery anglaise this actual full dress is this big broidery anglaise fabric really lovely shirt wrap dress so it starts at the top here with the collar lovely it has a little v-neck detail so it's got this kind of scalloped detailing all the way down the dress which i also love it then wraps at the side so you can cinch it in as tight as you want tie it in a little bow or as loose um and i love it little mini dress so perfect for summer really easy to throw on and this actually does look see-through so when you look through here you can actually see through it's like holes don't know if you can see there we go it is holes and it's not double lined but i have worn this out a couple of times and just worn nude underwear and i've said to jack a hundred times is this see-through can you see my bum and he's like no and I looked in the mirror and I couldn't see my bum. So I don't understand how this works. It's like a magic fabric. Um, but if any member of the public where we live has seen my bum, then I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I don't think it's see-through. And I will continue to wear it with my nude underwear because I think it's fine. But I love it. I think it's just so gorgeous. Really chic. Again, serious Zimmerman vibes. I really love this. Okay, moving on from clothes, let's do some accessories. I am so excited about these purchases. So, I really wanted a pair of Celine sunglasses. The ones that I thought I was going to purchase were the classic oval tortoiseshell Celines that everyone has with the Triumph 
um, logo on the side. Everyone has them. They're, you know, the classic oval ones. Me and Jack went to the Ashford designer outlet, which um, if you live local to me, or even if you live in London, you can get the train there. It's like one direct train. I really recommend going because they have some amazing discounts. They also stock really, really good stuff for an outlet store. They always have new in things, which is so wild. I don't know how they do that. There's some great brands there as well. So we went into Sunglass Hut for Jack because he wanted to get some new sunglasses. And I didn't think that they had a Celine in there, but the lady said, have you, I said, do you have Celine? She was like, yeah, yeah, it's over there. I was like, oh my God. So I went over literally this much space on the whole shelf, three tiny little shelves with three pairs of sunglasses. That's all they had. And she said, we don't get a lot of stock from them. And it is pretty much like one in one out. So as soon as one sells the next week, we'll get one more pair and that's it. That she said, we don't get a lot of stock. I couldn't believe that I saw these because I've been looking online for a while for a different pair of the Celine oval ones. Just a different style, a different shape, something a bit different because I feel like that oval style, although it could be classic for many people, for me, it's not. I like more of a structured a square or a cat eye. The actual oval shape, I feel like I would get bored of. I'm thinking in like two, three years to come. And then I saw these on the website and loved them. Um, didn't really think much of it. And then they had them in the Ashford outlet and I couldn't believe it. So these are my sunglasses. You've probably seen them already on Instagram, but they have the Triumph um, logo at the side. They are tortoiseshell all the way around, but they are much more square, which I really like. So let me get my hair out of the way and I'll show you them on. So they're a lot more square and a bit more chunky. And I don't actually have any sunglasses like this at all. So, oh my God, I just absolutely love them. How amazing are they? I love how they're so much chunkier. The oval ones are much more rounded, whereas these are a much more solid frame. And I just, I absolutely love them. These were on sale on the website for, I believe 390 or 370. And I got these for 230 pounds, which is crazy. Seeing as they are brand new, if you go on the website, they say new in, new season. So I can't believe I got that saving. And at the minute, I don't know if they still do, but um, they actually had 30% off when you buy a second pair. So Jack got some Ray-Bans for £140 and we got 30% off his sunglasses. So it was amazing. So I think I paid £300 for both of the sunglasses. Still cheaper than these originally on the website. Mad. Absolutely crazy. I told you I love a bargain. I went into Celine yesterday, the one in Selfridges. And I tried on this belt a while ago, which you would have seen in the vlog. And luckily they still have my size because online, it all the sizes are out of stock. So I was really worried that they weren't gonna have it because I was desperate to get it. And thank God they had it. So I picked up the tan small Celine Triumph belt. It's got the logo at the front. I just absolutely love this logo. I think they've done so well with it. It kind of reminds me of the Chanel a little bit, but it's much more chunky and I just adore it. I love Celine at the minute. So perfect. I just, oh, I'm so excited to wear it. And I got the size 70, fits me perfectly. I don't have to put any extra holes in and it's like literally my perfect size. So I couldn't be happier. I'm so excited to wear this with everything. Oh, one second, I'm getting a call. Hello. As I was saying, I am so excited to wear this belt with dresses like over the top of a really nice dress shorts trousers i'm even going to wear it over my blazers in autumn like do up my blazer and then have the belt over the top coats i love wearing blazers over coats oh my god i'm so excited for autumn fashion gracie has repositioned let's move over to home i've got a couple of little bits to share with you some of these pieces are from MS home and i'm so excited to have my first interiors collaboration i'm so unbelievably excited i've got a couple of jobs coming up with mns home over on instagram this is not sponsored i just love these pieces so much so i really wanted to share them this first campaign is about kind of this area here and just elevating it that little bit and making it feel a little bit more homely because it does kind of seem quite sparse sometimes and I just, I always knew that there were a couple of things I really wanted to add. So when they reached out, it was just meant to be. 
I found these online. Absolutely incredible price. And they come with the um, cushion inside, which I didn't know. So I actually also got two cushion inserts, not knowing that they come as a cushion. I thought it was just gonna be the cushion cover. I think they were 25 pounds each, which I think is really, really good. So I'm gonna use those other cushion inserts for our bed. I love these. They are actually a collaboration with a brand called Fired Earth, which I've never heard of before, but I'm gonna check them out because I love these. They are a really rustic, rough linen, which is my favorite because it looks really worn and it's not too perfect. It's got little bits of cream thread in there. Very similar color to our sofa, but it's a little bit lighter. So they stand out a lot nicer, I think. They also have a really lovely kind of silk thread border and I just love them. These are the 40, I think they're 45 by 45. Let me double check. Yeah, 45 by 45. They are so squishy. Like, let me show you how soft these are. But they really keep their shape. They're just such a nice... Oh, you see? Perfect. I'll leave that there. And then secondly, I picked up this lamp. Oh my God, I love it. So obviously it's not me without a little bit of beige linen. <laughs> um, this lampshade is very similar to the cushions. Um, it's got that kind of same worn effect with the little bits of cream thread little flex in it it's not perfect it's so lovely and the base of the lamp is just all glass it's like a hammered glass it's a really lovely texture the thread of the lamp is just in like this clear um plastic so that just goes through the middle you can't even really see it i haven't got a bulb in this so i haven't turned it on yet but i'm hoping this will look really lovely when it's lit because it's gonna feel so cozy in here in the autumn winter with all the lamps. But I love it, it's such a big size, it's so lovely. I think this was about 90 pounds or, I have a feeling it was 90, I'll link it all below. But I'm gonna keep this on the back of this sideboard on one, one end of the sideboard, possibly this side actually, so it's in the corner. And I just think it's gonna be such a nice addition to have a nice warm lamp to brighten up the space and it just i just think accessories like this really make your space feel so much more homely and they really draw your eye to certain areas another home item that i got i need to go and get because it's a little bit heavy okay this is going to be a little bit tricky to show you because it is a mirror but i wanted to get a little bit of a smaller mirror that wasn't floor length so that I could put it on the wall or put it on um, some Vogue magazines to raise it up a little bit if I don't wanna attach it to the wall. The shape of this is really rounded, so it hasn't got sharp corners, it's a really fluid shape. Again, I love, I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna keep this yet. I have a feeling I might keep this in our guest room slash office. When my mum has left us, I'm gonna go back to that room and redo it again and um, hopefully we will get our sofa bed and then I can make that room exactly how I want and I think this is going to be perfect for that room. One thing that my mum is saying at the minute is we don't have a mirror in there and she said she finds it quite difficult to get ready in the morning because she either has to come in here which is like our main living space or go into the bathroom which has no natural light so that's something I'm definitely taking on board so I'm very glad I got this because it will just live perfectly in there okay that brings me to the end of today's new and haul i really hope you enjoyed it this was a much longer one than usual i've been saving up these pieces for a while and i'm very excited to share them with you so i hope you enjoyed this do stay tuned on my vlogs because i will keep you updated on the outfit styling my belt and obviously the home pieces when they are all set in their places don't forget to follow me over on instagram as well for daily updates i literally post everything over there at lauren grace life and i will see you in my next video bye